Hi. Uh, so um, this is the setup. Uh, DC motor mounted on a frame, and it does have an encoder, but um, we are not using the encoder. And this is the board running on DSP and serial port for getting my data and my PC over here and I will just show you the code that I'm using so uh, the code is um, I'm just taking the PW, the potentiometer and multiplying with the DC bus that gives me the voltage which is applied across the motor now the same voltage which is applied across the motor is the V so V minus this is the current this is the feedback is the current and V minus I into R resistance is 0 0.467 of this motor minus L L is so much Henry's inductance into di di is the present current minus the previous current and divide by ts which is 10 kilohertz in my case so this is the very simple equation which is equal to uh, back emf is equal to v minus ir minus l into di by dt and later on i'm taking the back emf i'm multiplying with 100 and voltage i'm multiplying with 100 and i'm giving it to two different variables just for debugging purpose and let's see the output so i am just switching on the motor and you can hear the sound probably the red waveform is the voltage which is applied across the motor you everything you scale it divide by 100 so it may be about um, 300 and 60 that is about 3.6 volts that is applied across the motor and this is the back emf now the voltage applied across the motor is pretty constant whereas the back emf is like going around and this ripple what you say is because of the dc motor is a two pole motor so i have a uh, it's a torque pulsation or the current pulsation now what i'll do is i will hold the shaft like this i'll put some load on the shaft and you see that Mm, the back EMF starts falling you see the applied voltage remained constant but the back EMF starts falling I leave it again again it goes up I try to stop it too much but the motor is too powerful and I really and the power supply is also good I really cannot stop it but you can see that the voltage actually the back EMF of the motor falls if I increase the speed and hopefully you can also hear the motor sound which also goes up now it is about 500 and that is 5.5 and 5 volts is the back EMF if I apply some load on the motor the um, this thing definitely comes down the back EMF now you can there are some spikes now spikes are usually associated with with large change in the current maybe because of the back emf sorry because of the inductive drop because the di is maybe pretty large and <clears throat> yeah so overall the idea is that in the back emf you can use the back emf without using an encoder and still can make an estimate of the speed now I'll reduce the speed and I will, it's very low voltage and I will reverse the direction of the motor and as you can see it still works in the reverse direction also. Now the applied voltage across the motor is, is minus 4 and the back EMF is minus 3.5 and if I put the load on the motor the back EMF starts going towards the 0 which is also correct. So I'm stopping this. So hopefully you get a fair idea as just by using this simple equation how you can control the speed of the DC motor without actually measuring the back EMF but you just use a simple equation and estimate the back EMF and back EMF actually gives you the information of the speed.